Hi everybody, Nick Blazer here with uh, Dirk Schiemann. Uh, after match seven of the UBC finals, uh, we're going to do a little kind of midway interview here, get some thoughts on on how the tournament's going. Of course, it's been uh, been presented with some challenging decisions. Probably not the PR you were hoping to be at. I think you're in like the 3.8 range yeah, or something. Yeah, something something terrible for me it feels. <laughs> but also, actually, after day one. I played a 2.8 after the first uh, terrible match, but then I just had an absolutely disastrous day two. It seemed like couldn't get anything right, and yeah, it was really frustrating and like really an energy drain. Like when you are always, uh, yeah, battling uphill and uh, losing all the matches also doesn't help exactly. So at some point I just lost it. I couldn't just generate the energy anymore uh, to to play well. But uh, yeah, also. That said, um, Mochi played uh, fantastically all the time. So even if I had played my normal game, uh, probably it wouldn't be looking good now. So, but still, of course, I'm disappointed. Uh, rationally, I know, uh, like uh, playing, wa having one bad day doesn't define me uh, as a player. But like uh, feeling-wise, yeah, I feel like a donkey <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally understand. You're trying to put up your best and kind of be out there and see that. And 3.8 is clearly not your best, you know. Um, I and yeah, I, I was kind of curious what it feels like to play against someone that's just playing like a machine for mm -hmm. seven matches too, right? Like I think uh, Mochi's down in the 2.1 range right now, and I'm sure that just like like playing against XG or anyone that's just like consistently doing perfect moves, like it's just a different sense mm -hmm. than playing humans usually. How's that been? Yeah, it was not uh, over the board. It was more like, uh, since he was also rolling well, it felt like what was a bigger problem for me. Uh, since he rolled so well, it felt to me like everything that I tried backfired. So I never got the moment where where I felt like confident in my, in my game, right? So, so you lose all confidence, you try this, Boom! Uh, you you take maybe it's a bad take, but of course it, you get gammon. It's not uh, hundred percent gammon when you take a bad cube. So <laughs> so you make mistakes. So everything was also like punished. That that affected me more because I knew what he was capable of and that uh, he's playing super well. But uh, what affected me more was just. Uh, nothing worked out, whatever I did, it was wrong, and uh, yeah, I also felt like no decision came easy, actually, so that's yeah. never got into the game flow, that was just... Not Certainly, easy. yeah, like uh, my perception commentating, too, is just we watch, I mean, Mochi rolling like a god, of course, too, like playing great, but just like things are, spectacular things are happening with the dice, for sure, <laughs> but... Um, but yeah, also just, I noticed that too. Like I was waiting for, when is the game gonna come where Dirk rolls home to an easy gammon? Yeah. You know, where just the closeout yeah. just happens. Yeah, it I, feels like just not happening this weekend. I had one closeout on the second day, of course he hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wild. That, um, yeah, so I mean, I remember you were kind of frustrated with that yesterday and asking, you know, like, what's going on? Where am I making yeah. these mistakes? What am I doing different? And I, I didn't see anything. It just seems like bad luck. But I am curious if you feel like if you feel like the pressure of trying to outperform Mochi is changing anything. And also, you mentioned you've like categorized a lot of mistakes and you're trying to make some yeah. adjustments. Do you think that's like affecting your play? Yeah, I, I, actually I was frustrated that I wasn't implementing them uh, because uh, in some situations, uh, when I now looked at the matches and looked at my bullet points list, I just was, I mean, it was there on the list. I mean, <laughs> yeah. and uh, so that frustrated me also. But that is also like when you're getting tired and it's getting so difficult, you're just not able anymore uh, to, to, yeah, transfer what you know on the board and just like yeah. a brain shuts down somehow and which is <laughs> yeah never happened to me that way but it's yeah it's not a funny experience but it's quite an experience yeah <laughs> yeah i mean that was i think i was talking about with that with mark a little bit that it feels like i wonder if like quote unquote tilt is a part of this you know mm. that you just start to feel that exactly what you're describing 
sounds like like tilt in a way where you're just used to being punished for every decision you make and you lose your confidence right? yeah losing confidence yeah, I mean, yeah. tilt uh, for sure. me is associated with like really getting angry or anything <laughs> i wasn't nervous i wasn't angry uh, in the end of course i was frustrated uh, but uh, tilt yeah. is uh, in poker, it's just associated with just sure, really sure. getting angry and throwing the chips chips all over the place or something. Yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit different. Sure. Yeah, a little bit different. Uh, so yeah, it's maybe a kind of tilt, uh, a different kind of brain malfunction, so to speak. Sure, sure, yeah. So uh, eleven to three scoreline going in today. You got your work cut out for you. So how do you feel about? I mean, I, I can only presume, given the way that backgammon works, that you're about to go on a 10-0 run here. So how do you feel about doing that? Yeah, <laughs> not, uh, not realistically possible, to be honest, because I would have to win 10 out of 10 points. So that, that's gone for me. I hope that I play a little bit better today. I don't know. It feels like it's also not a big motivator when you feel like mm -hmm. there's nothing you can do anymore. But uh, yeah. still, it would help me. Uh, to to finish uh, off in a better way uh, than than yesterday for sure, and I will try it. I can can't guarantee anything. Maybe winning one more match would be also nice. Of <laughs> course, I mean, so just yeah. to to get the get to know again how it feels. <laughs> Yeah, six one on match wins is pretty wild too. That's that's tough to overcome. Just kind of yeah. six like freebie points. Way, I, right? I said yeah. it in the in the podcast. If uh, certain conditions are, are met, are uh, I basically have no chance, no matter how I play. If if Mochi plays his A plus game, mm -hmm. uh, or if he wins a lot of matches, and now both. <laughs> came together like the perfect storm, so to speak. Uh, so then, uh, yeah, what can you do? And yeah. good for him and really impressed by his performance. I mean, I knew he was uh, in very good shape, playing very well. And that is just a confirmation and just... Yeah. Yeah, he's been hovering right at that 2.0 line, which is, I mean, long-term PR. I don't think he expects to do it. Of course, always capable of it, but it's... Uh, Amazing to see, mm -hmm. and I'm rooting today for as many matches as possible and yeah. as many opportunities yeah. to get that 3.8 down. You know, I hope yeah. we see a lot of backgammon today. Yeah. Also, what what uh, j just occurred to me? It seemed like whenever his clock was running down, the match was over. Like <laughs> he he then decided to win the match better <laughs> instead of go playing another game. So that was also like I wasn't paying attention to the clock. Just yeah. just uh, just occurred to me. So there could yeah. have been more games. And so, so, so time travel was also not an issue for him because when yeah. the clock ran down, he just won the match and that was it. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. But uh, a lot of fortuitous ha things happening for him and some tough runs for you. Um, but yeah, again, better luck today and I'm excited uh, to watch more back yeah. I'm still, I'm rooting for the five matches, okay, Dirk? <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> yeah, see I'm rooting too, but yeah, let's be realistic. I, I'll try <laughs> sure. my best, okay. Yeah, thanks, Dirk. All right, we'll get to playing. Thank <laughs> you.